Hi, and welcome back to Rob's Feed Today. This is episode number 72, and I'm Rob Schendel. First, I want to thank you for downloading and thank you for watching. If you're new to Rob's Feed Today, welcome. I do hope that you'll go into iTunes and you'll click subscribe, and then as well, you'll make a comment, you'll rate it and make a comment. But I do thank you. Do you love Wikipedia anywhere near as much as I do? I mean, it is the greatest resource the internet has, bar none. Well, next maybe internet searches, but uh, I have any question about almost any topic, I'll do an internet search. I don't want to say Google right now, but uh, and it'll lead me to the article on Wikipedia, and I believe it's wikipedia.org, and there's the answer. There's an article. Often, really comprehensive article, too. And now, by definition, what is Wikipedia? What is a wiki? Well, in this case, it's an encyclopedia. And But what is a wiki? Well, a wiki is where articles, statements, whatever, things are contributed, and others can come along and edit, correct, add to. It's just the most democratic way of uh, getting information. And I contributed to Wikipedia this week. Now let me tell you how I happened to do that. If you remember me saying last time, I was anticipating going to see two plays here in Chicago done by two local theater companies, two different local theater companies, both of which are very good. I saw one on Thursday night, that one was Equus. I saw one on Sunday night, and that one was Fucking Men, a very gay-oriented play. It was very entertaining with uh, a great looking cast, very talented cast, very convincing actors. It was, it was great. It was an hour and a half long, but you know what? That hour and a half seemed too long. I couldn't believe it. It's uh, several scenes of each of these men in this cast have a little story about themselves. And so the scene after scene after scene after scene that could have all been tightened up much better. Had it. Problem with the writing, I guess. The play went on. And I would have preferred had they had one storyline that was interlaced with the, uh, the others, maybe make it three, and that start in a conclusion. That didn't do that for me. But the first play I saw, Equus. Now, I've seen Equus before. It's a psychological thriller about a disturbed young, 17-year-old young man who uh, gets a job as a stable boy and takes his aggressions, his fears, his psychoses out on the horses, picks up a spike and blinds a number of horses right there in the stable. And he's in therapy in a, hosp in a mental hospital in, in Great Britain and this was done by the Red Twist Theater here in Chicago. I was so impressed. What a w absolutely wonderful performance. It's a great play to begin with, but this was just pulled together so perfectly. I went into Wikipedia more or less just to read about the play Equus. And uh, close to the end of the article, it mentions revivals. And this company wasn't mentioned. And then now, obviously, there are like thousands of companies around the world have presented Equus. But I wanted to get this one mentioned. And lo and behold, thanks to my editing efforts and my contribution, now one of the, one of the revivals listed in that, that listing, that article about Equus, is, is, is mine. I want to. I want to tell you, don't run, don't walk. Get to the Red Twist Theater and see it yourself. Highly recommend it. Well, why am I not surprised? Here we have another case: Republican hypocrisy. 
former chairman of the Republican National Committee. Now, this man, Mr. Ken Melman, has not been a friend to the gay community. He has orchestrated, he's the leader, the cheerleader, the band director, the author, I don't know what all, of all those gay, anti-gay wedge issues that the Republicans used back in the 2004 presidential election to scare people into voting for them. Ken Melman has come out of the closet. Took him 43 years, but he's now admitting publicly that he's homosexual. What a slime ball. I mean, this guy, now he's trying to make, do, make good because he's... Uh, Hosting or contributing to a fundraiser, the challenge of Prop 8, you know, that dastardly marriage constitutional amendment in, from California. Well, he's going to have to do a hell of a lot more than that to, to overcome the bad work that he did all these years. But no, he just add him to the list of the, that Foley guy down in Florida, that Larry Craig. Oh, let's not forget that Senator Ashworth from California who voted in, in steered legislation through the California uh, State Senate. Get stopped for drunk driving after leaving a gay bar with his trick in the car with him. The list goes on and on. You don't see, you know, there's, there's bad in both parties. We all know that. We all accept. But yeah, I, that, I slapped my knees. I don't see the hypocrisy, the same hypocrisy coming from the Democratic Party as I do from the Republican Party. On another note, you can recall me bitching and loudly about the piss poor internet service I have been getting in the last couple of weeks. And to the point that it's really interrupted the flow of these episodes. Well, it's all in the past. I'm proud to say, I'm pleased to say, rather. I want to thank Melanie at Clear Wireless, who uh, took my suggestion. My suggestion was simply, can you please send me a new modem? I have none of the issues anymore, thanks to Melanie sending me this. Actually, it's a better modem than the, the previous model. But everything's working perfectly. My download speeds are exceptional. My upload speeds, right where they're supposed to be. It won't take me very long at all to upload this to so you can see it. And then I can get around, get along with the rest of my day. Thanks again to Melanie at Clear for uh, giving, me, giving me back my exceptional 4G YMX internet service. And finally, I want to mention, you know how money is so tight. And I have far less than I used to have to play with. So one of the things I've taken to doing is I, I bought a hair clippers. And I just shave off all the hair when, when I feel it's needed. So I was playing with my clippers the other day. And I thought, hmm, I wonder what a mohawk would look like. Because I, you know, I enjoy seeing mohawks on other men. But I, that's, I've never had one. It's not my style. It probably look ridiculous. Well, I'm here alone. I'm just looking in the mirror. Let's see. So, I, I mean, you can't really quite see it in, in, under, this lighting situ under this lighting situation, but I looked and I liked I liked it. So, I kept it, but I wasn't sure I was going to keep it because it's just a matter of going, and it'll be gone, right? Well, I went to, the, I went to see Equus that night. People mentioned it at, at Equus. Said, wow, I like your haircut. Every day, every time I've stepped outside this building, even if you stepped outside this apartment, somebody says, wow, a great haircut. So I guess I'm going to keep it for a while. Hey, everybody, I've got a mohawk. Never thought I'd have one of those, ever. But I'm really enjoying wearing it. One of my styles, a perfect style for me, is the blue-collar guy. And that often means wearing a blue shirt. And here I am wearing one. There's a problem, though, when I wear a blue shirt on camera here, and this is it. Look at the way my complexion has changed color. Sometimes it's John Boner, John Boehner, orange. 
Sometimes it's very pale. It's, here's what the problem is. The blue reflects off of my skin and changes color. The light is stationary. Until I have the money, more mon another money issue, to get more professional lighting here, I'm stuck with this. Because I'll move around, and lo and behold, the light doesn't move, but the, it just changes the dynamics, and here I am. Now, the solution is simply don't wear blue. Of course, if I don't wear anything, that, that works too, but, but I like blue. So, until that happens, whenever I wear blue, you're going to see Technicolor face on, on Robbie. Now, now that I've talked about the color blue and what it does to me, now that I've talked about all those Republicans, now that I've talked, what else did I talk about? Oh, I talked about clear internet, 4G, WiMAX service and how much I like it. Now that I've talked about my Mohawk haircut, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs>